I am with Dinesh Patnaik, our ambassador to Spain, and he is the person who, in fact, directly involved with this uh, project. What do you uh, expect? Was to know? Yeah, this is a wonderful moment for two reasons. One is that we have adhered to the schedule. Uh, so there was a timeline in the schedule which is quite tight, and so to be able to adhere to the schedule is the first success of the vision, uh, and that took ten days in advance. So the first FRP is leaving ten days in advance, which means the entire project is on schedule. Which for India is very important because for us, the C two two ninety five fills in a gap in our uh, transport logistics and air power system, which is this will be very very good. And second thing is that this program is one of the best to make in India program we can think of, uh, because out of the almost fourteen thousand plus parts of only thirteen thousand six hundred parts and seven thousand six hundred sub assemblies will all be made in India, which means that a large part of the aerospace ecosystem. We are looking at. We'll have to move from the rest of the world, including Spain, France, Germany, Italy, to India to be able to give the supply chain. They are already, they are already planning it out because the timeline is short sighted. That they have to set it up even before the first quarterly plans are ready, which is two years down the line. And so they are all ready to go. We are helping yeah. all the embassies across, especially in Spain, because where you are here now in Sevilla has a massive aerospace ecosystem. There's an aerospace is in the north of Spain. There is in other parts of Spain. There is in France. There is Germany, UK. All of these people who are the supply chain of Airbus will have to move to India because thirteen thousand six hundred parts is very large. Already, of course, there are a lot of Indian companies which are supplying which are in India. If they all have to be NATCAP certified, they have to be certified on a certain way because this certification is required. So the system is worried. Invest India had come in. We are working with DPIIT to help these companies to settle in India as fast. How Indian domestic manufacturing uh, sector will uh, benefit? Benefit and, 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 and how do you see from uh, five uh, five years down the line? And what mean we are passing? And we 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 do not have a private aerospace ecosystem. This creates the first private aerospace ecosystem where the first aircraft basically assembled in India. And will be integrated in India. So all the parts will be integrated. Integration is a very big exercise, not a small exercise. So to be able to integrate all these parts, we will have to train a large number of experts, engineers, technicians who will have to work on the entire ecosystem of supplying these thirteen thousand six hundred parts. It's a very elaborate system. Plane is not a simple uh, put together. We already have a strong automobile ecosystem. This is a far superior level to the automobile ecosystem. And we have a space ecosystem, so all this put together, we are looking at India in the next five years being one of the most competitive ecosystems in the world. Right, right. Thank you from Bharat Shakti.